With Smash Bros. Ultimate receiving its final update with this final character being Sora, we can pretty much speculate that the next big online game for Nintendo is going to be Mario Kart 9. No, I'm just kidding. I, I wish. But it's Splatoon 3. Splatoon 3 is the next installment of the Splatoon franchise, and it's looking to be the big multiplayer game of next year's 2022. With that in mind, we know a lot of things about the game, but still know so little. We know that there's going to be an expansive campaign, and of course, the same 4v4 multiplayer player game modes that we've expected from the past. But my biggest question is what is the big game mode this time around? No, I'm not talking about the little multiplayer modes such as the different splat zones or Rainmaker. I'm talking more along the lines of what is the big game mode like Salmon Run was in Splatoon 2. Now I'm guessing that Salmon Run is pretty much over considering the fact that the story has had some rumors to be the fact that the Salmonid are all gone thanks to our work in Splatoon 2 and it's allowing for the Grizzly to come from space and be the main enemy. So, will we be having a new type of Salmon Run style of game mode with just different creatures? Or what's gonna happen? Before we get started and jump into the speculation, I wanna thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. We are almost at 500 subscribers in just three days, and you guys have absolutely been killing this goal. If you haven't heard, our goal is to reach 150,000 subs by the end of the year, which is very, very doable. And you guys have actually been pushing for this, and I can't thank you enough. So all you have to do is like this video if you enjoy, and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Splatoon and Nintendo in general. Thank you guys so much, and let's get on to the video. Salmon Run was a really big mode for Splatoon 2. You got monthly rewards, and it was really one of the only modes that you could play co-op with online players against computers. And this time, it was kind of a Call of Duty reference as we're fighting zombies, but instead of fighting zombies, we're fighting Salmonid, the evil Salmon apparently, which we really didn't know anything about. Well, it looks like in Splatoon 3, there might only be one Salmonid left on the world, which probably means that we're not going to have a Salmon Run game mode. Now, are they just going to completely forget about the main mode of their game? Probably not. I think there is definitely going to be a replacement mode for this, but what is it going to be? Well, the first option I thought about for a replacement mode was just another zombie-based team shooter, but maybe with a different enemy or different creatures, such as sharks or something. We haven't seen much of them. Uh, Salmonid, like I said, seemed to be mostly wiped out and gone, so they would have to just simply replace the creatures with something new. I mean, the ocean is endless, and there's so many different creatures that they didn't even touch on yet, so this is still clearly a possibility with just something different. And, of course, they could have bigger maps, more expansive areas to search instead of these little island rigs, just kind of expand the area. And they could also make it progression-based, where if you get a certain amount of eggs or whatever it is you're collecting this time around, you can start unlocking new areas and maybe upgrading your weapons and kind of moving on to expand the area around you. And it could be almost like an endless mode like Call of Duty Zombies is, and you can keep going until your team is completely flushed out and until you're on the highest wave that you could possibly reach. Of course, this is going to be pulling a lot of stuff from Call of Duty this video. Call of Duty just kind of made all these game modes possible with its first person shooter aspect, and Splatoon is going to probably reference a lot of their game modes from it. They've already have. And I mean, look at Salmon Run. It's pretty much a Call of Duty Zombies game mode. So, I'm going to kind of look at that as a reference for this video. Splatoon needs Fortnite. Yes, it needs to have Fortnite all inside of it. I I'm, I'm sorry. I just had to see how many people I could trigger. But legit, Splatoon needs a battle royale. It is fresh, it's the brand new type of thing that every company is going for because it's endless. You can keep updating it, you can keep changing your map, your weapons, everything. So I need to see the Splatter Royale. You guys know this is like my biggest want from Nintendo right now ever is to have a Splatoon Battle Royale and I think it could happen. This could be the next big mode to bring in new players, even bring back old players. This would be something to attract everybody. You can scramble the guns, specials, and sub-weapons up as loot and drop a hundred Inklings or Octolings on the map and have lots of POIs based on different maps that are already in Splatoon 1 and 2. That would be really cool and you could visit all these areas and even areas in between They have little Easter eggs around the map, go inside certain buildings and stuff. And obviously this new mechanic here for this Battle Royale would be the fact that you can ink up walls and swim through that ink. That is such a major thing for this Battle Royale that nothing even comes close to right now in the genre and I think it would absolutely take over and it could be like the next big Fortnite, believe it or not. I think a lot of people would be interested in something like this and it would just be completely unique. 
I think there's ways they can get around the problems and, you know, implications that we've had before. Like, for instance, the ink. How would that work? You could create your own ink. It will give you a color palette to make any type of colored ink that you want. Meaning, yes, you can have the white and the reds for you weirdos out there. But you can make your own ink and everybody else's ink on the map will be a different color from yours. So they will all have the same color. For instance, if you have blue, everybody else's will be red. So that way you don't get confused. You'll know if you see red ink, that's enemy ink. And the game could definitely do that. I could definitely see that happening. And you could even have vehicles scattered around the map. That would be really cool. And Splatoon would just be at its peak to have different seasons, even a, maybe even a battle pass of some sorts. And I don't know, maybe you can have weekly updates where they add different weapons, you know, map updates. That would be really cool. And to have seasons like that would keep the game alive. Just same way that Smash Brothers has new characters, this would be a big thing for Nintendo. If they're not going to go around the Battle Royale side, maybe they should try expanding their 4v4 game modes. And maybe something along the lines of Splatoon Ground War. If you don't know what Ground War is in Call of Duty, it's pretty much two to three giant maps that you can pick to play on. And you'll get a giant 10v10 or 20v20, or in some cases, even 40v40 game modes. And I could see Splatoon definitely going 10v10 or 20v20. And it's pretty much just an objective-based game mode where you'll capture the most points or areas on the map in order to dominate the battlefield. I could even see them doing this with a giant turf war battle with all of these different players on the map. That would be really cool, but the map is just extremely expansive. And there's a lot of places that you can go and hide and find new areas and just play around in. Lots of places on the map to explore, easter eggs, all that good stuff, and it'll be definitely a stepping stone in the right direction to something bigger like a battle royale. But there will also be vehicles here on the map that you can ride, maybe like some type of ink motorcycle or tank. I mean, we've already had these ink quads in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Inklings, so I could definitely see those being included as well. And the last mode I have today is something a little different. I know we're not getting into individual game modes right now, such as the Rainmakers and the Turf Wars and stuff like that. But instead, I wanted to talk about something that could be maybe a little bit bigger than that, is different types of tournaments. Imagine there being weekly or even monthly tournaments that you can join, and imagine them having brand new genres such as 1v1s or 2v2s. Everyone has multiplayer modes already embedded in their brain with the 4v4. We've seen it, we've done it, it's done. There's even ranked battle, but imagine that there was tournaments that you can compete in. And with a 1v1 or a 2v2, you only have to worry about yourself or one single teammate. It's not based on your team this time. If you really want to come at somebody and you really want to challenge them and test your strengths 1v1, you can do that now. That would be so much fun. Obviously, the maps could be smaller and cut down for more action, and respawn will be quicker, allowing you to jump back into the action quickly before your opponent wins the game alone. But along with that, there will be certain game modes only allowed. For instance, some game modes just might not work with that type of gameplay, and they could figure that all out on their point. This is one way to handle beef with another player if you've always had that issue. If you really wanted to see who's better between you or somebody else, you can truly see that with a 1v1. And I know there still could be some issues with camping and stuff, but maybe they can figure that out as well. Maybe if you sit in the ink too long, you start to glow. That could definitely be a thing. And I think they could just simply combat all their issues that they claim to have because there's always a workaround. They definitely can have a 1v1 or a 2v2, and even putting this in a tournament scene would be amazing. Maybe for getting certain prizes, you can get certain gear, and if you see somebody with certain gear, you could be like, man, they won that certain tournament or something. That would be really cool. Now, it won't be one worldwide tournament. Obviously, that would be almost impossible for anybody to get anything, but it'll be multiple tournaments for a certain time period each month or each week that you can join, and there could be multiple winners depending on your tournament bracket. Similar to how Smash Ultimate ran its tournament online, just hopefully a lot better. But like I said, I will not be diving into all the individual game modes that I like to see. That could be for another video. I'm sure I'll get into deep talk about all the individual multiplayer game modes that they can add, whether it be ranked or regular mode, because I'm tired of there not being any type of cool game modes when you just want to play casually. So I'll be talking about all of that, trust me if you guys enjoyed this video. So if you enjoyed, please let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like and remember to subscribe to help us to reach our goal of 150,000 subs by the end of the year. We're getting ever so closely and I cannot thank you guys enough. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.